All right, the equation on the screen is negative x is equal to 6. Is this the final solution? No, it is not, because the variable should be positive in a solution. All right, so how do we go about simplifying this equation even more? Well, it's important to note that there's an invisible number in front of that x, and that invisible number is a 1. So now, since I have negative 1x is equal to 6, I can move forward with simplifying. It's important for us to note that that negative 1 is called a coefficient, and a coefficient is a number being multiplied by a variable. So just like when solving the other one-step equations, we want to do the inverse or opposite operation. So what is the opposite of multiplying by a negative 1? Dividing by a negative 1. And we're going to do that on both sides. If we focus on the left side, we have negative 1x divided by negative 1. And if we focus on just the numbers, negative 1 divided by negative 1 is equal to 1. Any number divided by itself will always give us 1. So negative 1x divided by negative 1 is equal to 1x, or just x. If we look at the right side, we have 6 divided by negative 1. And 6 divided by negative 1 is equal to negative 6. So now we have our simplified solution, x is equal to negative 6. So I want to take some time to compare the original equation to the new solution. And I'm going to show you a quicker way to solve those so you don't have to do all that work. So what I want us to notice is that the original equation started with a negative x, and the new solution has a positive x, and those are opposites. If we look at the solutions, the original equation started with a positive 6, and the new solution ended with a negative 6, which is the opposite again. So, what we can do if we ever have a negative variable is we can change both terms to their opposites. Let's take a look at a few more examples. The first example is negative x is equal to negative 8. So, if we change both of these terms to their opposites, the opposite of a negative x is a positive x, and the opposite of a negative 8 is a positive 8. So, the final solution would be x is equal to 8. The next one is negative z is equal to 2. And if we change these terms to their opposites, the opposite of a negative z is a positive z. And the opposite of a positive 2 is a negative 2. So the final solution will be z is equal to negative 2. So now I have two more problems I want you to try. The first one is negative x is equal to negative 15. The second one is negative t is equal to 4.5. I would recommend you pause the video now, solve, and then resume when you're ready to see if your solutions are correct. Okay, let's take a look. Number one is x is equal to 15. And number two is t is equal to negative 4.5. If you had either of these incorrect, I would recommend you pause and try to find your mistake. Thank you for watching.